Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to the Legend of Heroes Trails of Zero. Today we're going to the Geofront B, and uh, before we move on, I just wanted to show you my little port setup real quick. Basically, I did a little tiny change to Ellie. I took off her attack one, and I gave her the mute ports, not because I really want mute, but mostly because I just want six um, water ports to get access to Hydro Cannon. It's very, very nice. And um, you should pr basically have Hydro Cannon for Tio as well, since she needs to have water ports um, set up on her um, orbit anyway, so HP2, Diligence, whatever. So that'll be coming very handy for the upcoming boss fight, because as we all know, once you see a little healing station, a boss fight is sure to come. Whoa. Uh-oh. Yikes. Oh, just these little Dustbuster guys again? Oh, we can take that. Whoa! Holy crap! I totally wasn't expecting this guy for boss time! With enemy advantage, isn't that just lovely? And they're just shorting out, like, seriously? That's kind of funny. <laughs> Those are useless. Uh, you know what? Let's actually use an S-Break. I'm gonna use Tio's S-Break. She has plenty of, um, CP for it. So, yeah, we'll see the before, so we'll just skip that. That kills an, a uh, little dustbuster over there and deals nice, nice damage to the big boss. Oh, but hey, he got a counterattack in there. Not that she can really do that much damage. Whoa, the boss is shorting out too? Hey, <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. So yeah, we've seen these guys before. They can attack in a straight line. They can kind of suck you over too, so it can be kind of a pain, but nothing too bad. Um, you know what? Try Stun Break, see if the Faint will actually hit. I kind of doubt it, but maybe? No, it won't. Uh, let's see. You, oh, yeah, we can hit two with the Salamander. Awesome! Okay, that burn should probably take care of him. Oh, you have a critical hit, but that's... Oh, I don't really want to use it. Because I do want her to be using a Hydro Cannon. It's the big boss right there. Yeah, that'll come in very handy. How much HP do you have left? 1,200? Yeah, he's very weak to water, but these other guys are weak to water, too. Um, maybe go after somebody else? Uh, can, can a stun break actually hit somebody else? Um, we'll let you just attack. Yeah, just go on down there. Um, because I kind of think that Ellie should be able to take these other guys out. We shall see. If not, I can always Hydro Cannon the crap out of, uh, these guys over here. Can I hit both of them? No, this- oh! Man, it sucks where they got placed. The placement is just terrible. Um, let's see. I'll have her go ahead and cast hearts against that one over there. Yeah. BAM! Okay, so, almost dead, but not quite. Let's get another Salamander on both of these guys over here. So, Randy should be able to take care of these two. Um, and then the rest of our party over here should be able to take care of these guys. Yeah, go ahead and just kill that one, since Tia will probably kill the other one there. Whoa, look at that damage! Uh, been nice to not have to worry about the, uh, self-destruct and everything. Let's see, uh, let's see, Icicle? Yeah, go ahead and go after that one. Good damage. Hell of a lot better than her 100 attack power damage that she normally does. Are you going to kill yourself too? That would just be really lovely. Oh, doesn't seem that way. Yeah, I'll take care of him. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about any kind of status ailments or anything else like that whenever you're fighting these guys. They're honestly pretty damn easy to um, like, it's really nothing to worry about, let's see. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and kill that one. There we are. It's a shame to waste that critical hit on this guy, since, you know, his regular hit would have killed him, but, eh, it's not too bad. Uh, and then, yeah, just after this guy, we'll just use physical hits and go after him, and hopefully, uh, Ellie should be able to take him out. Ellie and Tio's art attack power stat is only one point away. I think that Tio is a 93 art attack power, and Ellie only has a 92. So, they're pretty much comparable in art and attack right there. So don't worry about, you know, Ellie being the, uh, art attacker. But anyway, go on down here and... Yeah! Fishing spot. So let me take care of that real quick. Well, I, uh, got that taken care of, so let's just keep on going. Gotta find that hacker somewhere.
What is it? Oh. This sounds like something from Persona. Just saying. We're abbing time. Ugh. I hope it's not misty. Oh god, I couldn't take that. Oh. Yeah, maybe it is yin. Okay. I'm inside. Maybe it's yin. Or maybe it's this little snot nosed brat. Well, what's he doing? Is he hacking this stuff? Is he, like, selling this stuff? Is he gambling on it? Or maybe he's, like, doing corporate espionage and stealing, um, like, design secrets or something and selling them to other companies around, uh, Zemuria. I don't know what exactly he's doing to make his money. Yeah, I kinda don't think so. Wait, what made you thought it was a kid? Oh. Argum? What is that, like a gemstone or something? Or a diamond, I guess? Oh, Nine Valley. Oh, I don't know who these people are or where Nine Valley is, but sure, I'll take your word for it. Well, what does Ian want? Oh. Ha! <laughs> Never say never, you little shit. Yeah, we got you now. I think you're so damn smart. Um, yeah, he is the hacker. Who cares if he's a kid? He's still a freaking hacker. Hell, there are kids that are better at computers than I am. Man, kids today, my god, they grow up these computers and they're like just ridiculous with it. Uh, yeah, that's us. Our reputation precedes us, as usual. Oh, yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Um, yeah? Oh, do you know him? Jonah's sacred. Huh. And you know her. How do you two know each other? Oh, so they're both raised in that laboratory in the Foundation. He escaped, I guess. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, so they knew of each other, but they didn't, like, they weren't exactly friends. Well, yeah, it's not like she was the only one in there. There must be other people just like both of y'all that would be able to follow your traces. Then maybe you should have been. This guy really is a little brat, isn't he? Throwing, like, a temper tantrum over there with his 20 computer screens. <laughs> you made mischiefs. <laughs> Oh, the English is big with this one. Oh, okay, so it became a system engineer at the research laboratory. Oh, but he ended up screwing them over and ruining one of their research projects, I guess. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, makes sense. So is Jonah and Tio, like, are they orphans? Does the Research Foundation just, like, abduct these orphans and then use them for their own purposes? Or is this, like, some school for child geniuses or something? Like, I don't know. Um, maybe we probably should. Oh. Well, that's no good. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ha! Huh, good for you, Tio. Yeah, you tell him. Yeah, no kidding. He's got you paid. Now, what exactly are you doing? What's your goal? And why are you looking for Yin? Um, we will kill you. We will shoot you and we will kill you and no one will know. No one knows that you're here. You're over here breaking the law and hacking. I say shoot this bitch dead. I am done with you. You're not going to speak up? You're, you're going to give me some lip? Screw you, asshole. Well, you're an informant in Crossbell. Huh. Yeah. And just 
who exactly are you informing, and who are you working for? Well, that is true. Like I said, these kids, they... They're in their computers, my god. Okay. Huh. So, you're gathering information from all over the entirety of Zemuria, and then selling it to other people or companies or something? So essentially, he's like an internet spy, I guess. Yeah, yeah, like I said before, back in the infancy of the internet and computers and everything, there really, security was non-existent. It just wasn't, like, nobody really thought about it, you know? Oh. Oh, yeah, Maria Bell was talking about that. She said that it actually wasn't illegal to hack. Which is shocking to me. To me, it should fall under something else. It, should, it really should fall under, like, theft. You know, if the guy's going into the IBC and taking money, yeah, he's hacking, but he's also, you know, stealing money. Or theft of uh, information. It doesn't have to be Mira. It could be information. It could be plans. You know, he's still stealing something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and again, we're the police, and you're telling us of all your illegal black market espionage spy activities? Can we arrest him? Like, seriously, arrest him. We never arrest anybody in this game, do we? Really? You have a grasp on everything going on everywhere else, but you don't have a grasp on what's going on 20 feet above your head? An enemy called Kitty. What Kitty? Who's Kitty? Wait. Oh. Huh. Well, Tio is a little cat girl, so maybe she is Kitty. I don't know. What are you talking about? Oh, so you're not this Kitty in question? Yeah, I'm kind of lost myself. Oh, yeah, tell us about Gin. Okay, so this is the one who actually sent the email. Oh, well, what's it, like a business card or something? Oh, the door has been opened! The Tower of the Stars. Except my wish. What's your wish? So this is like a calling card from Yin himself, and he gave it to you to give to us? How did Yin know... Well, yeah, actually, if Yin doesn't know anything about hacking, because he obviously didn't himself, so he hired the best hacker there was, this kid, but how did he know that we would track down Jonah in order to get this message? Who knows? It was all part of his plan! Yeah, these, these, these uh, omnipotent plans that these villains have, it's just ridiculous. Oh. Oh, really? Huh, so can you tell us anything about him? Oh, well, great. What does he look like? Who is he? What's his real name? Oh. Oh. Huh, so he disguises himself. Yeah, I guess he wouldn't know. Really? This kid's twisted. Yeah, uh, he's an assassin. That's not cool. That's scary. Something to talk about. Like, more like it's a trap. Go to the top of a tower so the legendary assassin can what? Kill you and push you off the edge? Like, what the hell? I wouldn't go up there. Screw that. Like, if he wants to come talk to me... He can come to me, preferably the police station, behind bars, in a cell. Oh, great. Lucky us. <laughs> yeah. Well, what is it? Oh, the Tower of Stargaze. Oh, yeah, we did see that one if we were going down to St. Ursula uh, Hospital and all that. 
Yeah, we saw those ruins and everything down there. Oh. Huh, maybe. Okay. Arrest him! He admitted to his crimes! And I don't want to hear about how hacking technically isn't illegal, so he didn't do anything. No! He admitted that he stole stuff! Whatever you hack into a computer system, and then you're actively stealing, even if you're not taking, like, anything of, like, like money itself, you're stealing designs, information, plans, intellectual property. It's still theft. Oh, and then they're talking about, like, trespassing. That's the least of their worries, is this kid trespassing down here in the geofront. Like, come on now. Yeah, I would just hook Tio up to these computer systems and try to find as much dirt on this kid as humanly possible, and then arrest him for that stuff. You know that it would take Tio two seconds at this keyboard to figure out just everything, all the nefarious deeds that he's done. I mean, even if he didn't do that, he openly admitted to working with and receiving payment from Yin, an assassin. I mean, come on, what more do you want? But instead of arresting him, we're talking about his eating habits. How he's drinking pizza and beer. Because that's what's important! Give me a break. Uh. Yeah, don't do anything too bad. I mean, this is why everybody gets away with everything in Cross Bell. You all need to crack the whip. Come on. Crappy ass police department. Ugh. This should be like a choose your own adventure game, kind of like those Western RPGs, where it gives you a choice. Hey, do you arrest them? Do you let them go? Do you give them a warning? Do you shoot the little mofo? Like, what do you want to do to this kid? That would be kind of cool, I've got to say. Might be a fun little twist if instead of these JRP or these uh, Western RPGs that you get that are kind of like swords and sorcery, like the Skyrim type games, or the futuristic Mass Effect type games, if they gave you one where you're just like a police officer and you got to go around and you know, stop crimes and stuff, and you know, what would happen? Just a nice little twist. I would like to see it like a modern day, almost like a like an Earthbound meets um, Trails of Zero meets. Mass Effect. That would be pretty frickin' cool. Not that I've ever played Mass Effect, but I've heard good things. Well, what junk? Oh, well, thanks. Oh, the boss that we just fight, yeah. Oh, did you create them? Get your security system or something? Oh. Huh. Reminds me of something from Dragon Warrior 7, actually. Oh. So they were originally benign, and then you turned them evil. That's just lovely. Yeah, no wonder you ran away. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Impertinence, one way to, to, to put it. Well, let's go on over here. Who cares? Lock this guy up! Ugh. Okay, yeah, so for doing that, you get the little recipe, and then secret shortcut opens up. So, it's kind of nice. Yeah, so if you ever want to come back down here to talk to him, you can use this little passageway. You don't have to go all the way through the geo front, and boom, done the end. You popped up back here. Also, if you want to use that fishing spot, very quick, very easy access. So, that's kind of nice. I can't believe that you didn't arrest him. Yeah. This matter can't be overlooked, but let's just overlook it. <laughs> okay, so he's 13, and number one, you didn't arrest him for doing illegal activities. Number two, you're not going to turn him into, like, Child Protective Services? Is there no orphanage or something? You can't go talk to that asshole archbishop over at the church and uh, have the church watch over him? I mean, come on, he's still a kid. 
and we're just leaving him to his own devices to wreak more havoc down there? No! Take this kid away from the computers, bring him into the orphanage, let him learn some life skills, and become a productive member of society! Because as of right now, like, this little shithead's just gonna cause a ruckus. Not very happy with your decision, Lloyd. And normally you're pretty smart, but... Whenever it comes to arresting people, I don't think you're actually the smartest bulb in the box. Okay. Oh. Well, sure. Can do. Next time we visit him, let's bring a pair of handcuffs. Again, what makes you think that Yin is a she? Hmm. I mean, if anything, Yin would be genderless and you'd be referring to him as a he. But that's just kind of different there. Oh. Oh, yeah, there is. We saw that back in the, um, what was it, chapter one whenever I was going down there? Yeah. I mean, I tried to go through there and y'all stopped me, so... Yeah, you guys should know exactly where it is. Of course it's a trap, Lloyd! Come on! Get it through your skull for being a detective! Man, you can't sniff out these traps very well, can you? Well, let's uh, head off to Stargaze Tower next time on Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Zero. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.